Hey guys, it's about 3.40 a.m. We are here in Nice E3 in Sison, Pangasinan. We have about, give or take, three and a half more hours before we reach Vigan. Look at everyone. We're tired. I'm tired. We still have a long road ahead of us. Layo pala nito. So this guy's having his longest drive ever. 360 kilometers? <laughs> <laughs> what is cooking guys, it's your boy Porky Pig and I am here to make good with my promise. Five episodes ago I promised to follow the journey of the Mimaroba Elementary Basketball Boys team here in the Palarong Pambansa in Vigan, Ilocos Sur. And surely enough, I am here. Now in their first game they had a valiant effort, they started out well. They lost to Central Visayas. The score was 88 to 35. Uh, do the math if you guys want to know the deficit. I'm not sure which team they're going to face tomorrow, but I think they're going to win, hopefully. Kuya then then kuya then then why is it 13? Because to the Oh, 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 I'm here in Calle Casologo, one of the heritage places here in Vigan Logosur. Well known for its uh, old houses and empanada, and we are looking for the empanada. So far we found the old houses, but we haven't found the empanada. And we are pretty drunk and we need to eat. <laughs> Where's the empanada? Where's the banana? <laughs> Everything's gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everything's gone. No empanada. As you guys can see, aside from the lack of empanadas tonight, this place is pretty beautiful. There's nothing like it here in the Philippines, aside from this place. Now, just to reiterate, no automobiles are allowed in Calle Carsologo. It's just foot traffic and calesas. Si, sí, senor. Sí. Just calesas. Si. Sí. So what is vegan? 
Ligan is a heritage city found on the northwest coast of the Philippines in Ilocos Sur province in Region 1. It's well known for its Spanish colonial and Asian architecture. Well, the buildings are all old school, as you guys can see. Even the new buildings are designed to look old school. Makdo is what we call the old Makdo. With regards to its heritage sites, Vigan has a lot to offer. One being this place. This is uh, the Dr. P.J. Burgos Park. And right beside it is the Vigan Cathedral, which is one of the prettier cathedrals that I've seen in my lifetime. In front of the Vigan Cathedral is the Plaza Salcedo, which houses the Jose Rizal. And overlooking the Plaza Salcedo is the Ilocos Sur Capitol. Other notable places here is the Calle Cresologo, which has a lot of bars and restaurants around. They also sell some other stuff there for tourists. So if you guys want to have some souvenirs, that's where you, that's the place where you have to go. Vegan also has a shit ton of museums. So if that's your thing, you have a myriad of museums to choose from. Other heritage sites include the Bantai Bell Tower, which we haven't even seen. Maybe I'm gonna go there later. It's a really beautiful old school bell tower. Right beside the cathedral, well adjacent to the cathedral, is the vegan empanadahan. They create the most authentic empanada and ogoy in the Philippines. If you guys want a food trip, come over here at the empanadahan and have a taste of what vegan is known for. Aside from empanada, vegan is also known for longanisa. The vegan longanisa is well known all around the Philippines for its deliciousness. I don't think that's even a word. And this place is also known for its bagnet. Both of those dishes we haven't tried today or yesterday. So yeah, I guess that's vegan in a nutshell for you guys. Well, that was frustrating. Mimaropa started off the game pretty well, dominating on the first uh, quarter by 10 points. And then they couldn't keep the lead. It just wasn't their game today. The final score was 46-43 in favor of Carr. Sayang, no? And better luck tomorrow, Mimaropa. I just realized every time I fill my glass with water, it's like this thing has a runny nose. And I'm drinking, oh shit. And I'm drinking it's not. <laughs> Now we have a mission. We need to find the goddamn longanisa and bagnet. We still haven't found any of it yet. Why is that? We're in vegan. Where's the good stuff, man? Show us the goods. So our quest for the vegan longanisa and the bagnet has brought us here in the deep depths of the hidden garden in Lilong and Lilang's restaurant. But before we got here, we had to go through the Hidden Garden, which is absolutely beautiful. Check out the clip. The hidden garden contains a lot of plants because it's a garden but it also contains some souvenirs and some nice statues that you guys can um, take pictures of and touch. If you guys go deeper inside the hidden garden, you guys are bound to hit the Lilong and Lilang's restaurant which is awarded for the most authentic vegan longanisa and bagnet. Aside from that, I will post the menu board. To show you guys what else you guys can buy here. But me and Gino only bought the vegan longanisa and the bagnet so we could try the most amazing Ilocano food we can while we we're still staying here in Vegan. The ambience of this place will take you back maybe a hundred years in the past. So many banderitas hanging around and it's like you know it's always a fiesta here. It's so amazing.
As you guys saw with what we just ate, even though the city is called vegan, their food ain't for vegans. <laughs> So we're climbing the steps up to the Bantay Bell Tower, one of the oldest freestanding structures here in the Philippines. And I'm gonna touch it! Can't wait to touch it! Wow! <laughs> I'm touching it! Touch! 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 And it's very cold here, it's very windy. I'm wondering how this has a natural air conditioning. <sighs> Thank you! <laughs> so we're on top of the bell tower. It's one of the first times we've had to feel wind here in Vigan. Because downstairs it's pretty hot. Whew, I've been chilling here for a while. One thing you guys need to know about Vigan is the place is absolutely scorching. Make sure to pack a shit ton of sunblock and umbrellas and if you can, buy a hat from Decathlon. Because it's keeping me cool, man. So the kids lost their final game against Northern Mindanao. The score was 61 to 32. And yeah. I talked to Sanjeev after the game. Here's a clip. Okay, you guys did a good job, man. Um, uh, school pa naman eh. <laughs> Leave a like if you laughed and leave a like if you learned. Don't forget to comment down below. Where do you think I should go next? Click up here because that's what YouTube thinks you should watch. Click down there because that's my most recent video. And click over here on the Porky Big icon. Subscribe for more Porky Big videos. Bye bye.